Hello, parents. I wanted to give a brief overview of Leech Block, which is something that comes installed on all our students' Chromebooks. Um, some parents have um, asked about blocking websites when not at school. Um, the school always has uh, categories blocked, but not necessarily specific web pages. So I'm going to show you how to do that at home and uh, set specific hours for when you can do that. So what we'll do first is open a new tab and come over to our extensions. And if you do not see it here, we're going to click on extensions and go down to leech block ng. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and pin it. So now it's right up here at the top. And first thing we'll do is just click on our icon, click options, and go over to the general tab at the top there. And at the top here, we see number of blocks that will come into play in a moment. Uh, we'll explain that, but six is plenty. Um, we want to change this first access control. We're going to change this to require the user to enter a password. And you can use any password you would like. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, make that easy. We're going to come down here to uh, temporary override. So allow blocking to be suspended for how many minutes? This is in case um, the student does need access to a blocked website, um, maybe for schoolwork or something. Uh, you can temporarily allow this and we can go ahead and set a suspend time um, or it will ask us. So we're just going to leave that blank and we're going to change this to require the user to enter the access control password. And that is that password that we set. So uh, you're not going to want your children around when you do this or they will see your password. Um, down here, you can export these options that we're going to save here in a minute. You could export those to uh, a flash drive or something. When you do export the options, um, it saves it, saves it as a plain text text file in your child's Google Drive folder. So you, you don't want that because all you have to do is open up that text file and you'll be able to see the plain text password. Um, if you do want to use this, what you would want to do is export uh, the options to a file, move those over to a thumb drive, and then delete it from your child's Chromebook. Um, this is actually pretty easy, so I don't think it's anything that you really should have to worry about. Uh, automatically export options to sync storage. That is something you can do, but you would need to go in and um, just import from the sync storage. I have no idea where that is saved, but um, I couldn't find it. So anyway, we'll just, we have all these set as we like. So let's save options. And first thing we'll do is go over to block set. Well, no, we'll open a new tab and open up YouTube. So YouTube opens up just fine, <clears throat> but we don't want our child to use YouTube after school. So let's say 4 p.m. until 5 a.m. the next morning. Uh, we're going to enter star youtube dot dot com and we're using star here as a wild card and you can use you look at these tips down here. So star just means anything before YouTube dot com. So if there's a www or an HTTP or anything like that, it doesn't matter as long as we have that star there. Uh, you can also see that you can use a tilde and keywords to block. So that might be something if uh, you just don't want your child to ever see anything about Fortnite ever again, you could use that and it would block anything uh, pertaining to Fortnite. And here we'll set our time period. This is a 24 hour time period. So it starts at 000 and ends at 2400. So we have to be um, a little weird with this because we're going over two days because we're going to start at 4 p.m. 
and you're seeing it's using 24 hour time until 2400. Then we're going to do a comma and do midnight until 5 a.m. You could also say if you wanted to just block YouTube after a certain amount of time of using it. Um, now, teachers do uh, give YouTube as homework. Uh, go home and watch this, uh, you know, history video or something like that. That could be something that is done. And that's where your override will come into play if it's needed. Um, or you can just set that time limit right here. Um, you know, 60 minutes in every 24 hours or something to that, something like that. And we're going to let our child use YouTube um, over the weekend. So what we're going to do is click on Sunday. So it's Sunday at 4 p.m., um, YouTube will start being blocked. And we're going to uncheck Friday. So all weekend it will be available. And we're going to come here to this immediately block pages on these sites once blocking conditions are met. That is because if YouTube is already opened and um, the blocking starts, they will still have access to everything in YouTube. Um, it would actually have to be closed and then opened. And once trying to open a new YouTube instance, that would be blocked. But checking this will change that. We also want to allow temporary override for these sites. So we're going to click that one. And that's where that second um, password area came in. And we'll save these options. And that's it. Um, YouTube will now at 4 p.m. start blocking. But let's see that in action. So it is uh, 11 a.m. right now. So I'm going to change this to 11. And you'll see what I mean when we click save about this immediately block pages. So come down, hit save options. And you can see YouTube just changed to site block. Site is blocked until 12 a.m. At 12 a.m., uh, if they were to try to go to YouTube, it's going to say unblocks at 5 a.m. So let me uh, now. One other thing is you can add multiples to this. Uh, you can add as many sites as you want to follow this same schedule. So we'll just add another one. Um, I don't know, msn.com, quick and easy. Whoops. Star msn.com, save options. Now, if you had one site that you wanted blocked all the time, that's where another block set will come in handy. So let's go to block set number two and we'll do another um, we never want our child ever, ever to go to yahoo.com. And then we easily just come down to all day. Um, we'll set all days of the week. Immediately block pages. And if you want to, you can allow a temporary override. Um, in fact, we'll just do that. Why not? Now, one thing to keep note of is this is actually easily bypassed. If your child was to sign out and then at the sign in page for their Chromebook, remove the account from the computer and then sign back in, all of these options will be completely wiped out um, and they would be able to browse as they want. So it will be kind of up to you to every once in a while come in and just click on our uh, leech block and click options and make sure that that password is in place. I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll close these out. New tab and options. And we have to enter that password. So if that is not in place, then uh, your child has wiped out their Chromebook and added again. Um, or if it's not the password that you set, Obviously, they've gotten in there and changed some things. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're back in our options. And again, if you wanted to save these back on the general tab, 
we can export to a file and save that file. And then all you would have to do is import from that file on your thumb drive and uh, all the, everything that you set would be exactly as it was before. Let's uh, just try one more thing. We'll go to YouTube. It's blocked. So let's do our override. And we need to enter our password. We're going to say 60 minutes. Activate override. Well, that actually, okay, so this is unblocking block set one and block set two. So maybe you don't want to allow unblocking on your always blocked website. So again, that was in options. Block set two allow temporary override. So that should be fixed with that one. And we should be in temporary override right now. So YouTube works just fine. And that again is this section here. So add as many as you'd like. We're going to do one more and this is the, um, everything option. So uh, if you just want your Chromebook to basically be useless um, at a certain time, like 9 p.m. until 5 a.m. the next morning, we're going to do that real quick. So we're going to go to our options. And we have our block set one, our block set two, and Let's do a new block set. And here we're going to do our wildcard star dot star. That is anything. So let's do 2100 until 2400 comma zero 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 midnight to zero five a.m. And we'll do that every day of the week. So this computer will be useless um, from 9 p.m. until 5 a.m. every day. Immediately block pages. We are going to do allow temporary override for this one. Um, this would be, you know, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot to do this. And it's after 9 p.m. So you can, uh, you know, a temporary override 60 minutes, let the child use their Chromebook. After that 60 minutes, every website will be inaccessible. We'll save options and that's it. So you can see uh, the block sets really do come in handy for different types of blocks you want to do. Um, you may, okay, so you may have YouTube here already, but you could even do a fourth block set and say um, youtube.com and come down to this every, minutes in every day, 120 minutes in every 24 hours. You might want to do 12 hours because this is going to roll over into the next day. Maybe not because of the way that time works. Um, that's something you might just have to play with. Um, we could save this. We don't need a temporary override for this setting. Um, but you might want to. Okay, that's it for blocking everything. Again, that was star dot star, wildcard dot wildcard that just everything. And that's about everything you need to know. I hope this was helpful.